Hey guys, this is the general reading for Capricorn um, for February 2019. Um, it's for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you have significant Capricorn in your chart, or if you're a cross watcher, or if you're just drawn to this video. Um, for more of a complete picture, or if this doesn't resonate, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, any other significant placements in your chart, or any of my other videos that you're drawn to that are already out or coming out in the future. The energy is fluid, so this could have already happened, it could be happening now, it could happen in the future, some, none, or all of this may apply, so take what fits, leave the rest, don't make it fit if it doesn't. I could read this as you, it could be someone else significant to you, I could read this as love, it could be career, so just, just um, take what fits and leave the rest. Um, just so you know, for those of you, people have inquired about, like, for donations, um, or even services, all the information is in the description box below. So, my email address, my PayPal address, services, prices, um, please read all of it, including the disclaimer, don't just get to my email address and then email me. I'm, I would, I am more than willing to help anybody, but it saves me time, so please read all of it, and if you still need help, then email me, if not, just go, you know, with what the email says, or the description box says. Um, but thank you so much for those of you who have donated and gave back, um, whether it, it helped you or you just felt to, like, give back the energy um, to, you know, have that flow. Even services. Um, any way you can help, whether it's like, share, comment, subscribe. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. I put out different types of videos. Um, it circulates in case anyone needs this message or this help. But any anything that I get from this monetary-wise right now is going towards me further healing myself. Um, that helps further my journey. But that helps me heal myself to be able to help others because there's a lot of people going through things right now. And they really need help. Um, so it really helps assist me in it being able to do that. Just, uh, for instance, in March, I'll be doing my Master Reiki. I already do Reiki 1 and 2, but I'll be doing my Master to learn how to teach it. Um, in April, I'll be doing my second direction of shamanic training. So I'll be continuing that. And then it was extended, but next month, I will be doing um, plant spirit medicine in 2020. So all of these I'll be able to do distant in order to, or, or in person, to further help people. So this is just continuing my journey and what I was led to do. Also, just so you know, there, um, for, until further notice, um, if I'm, unless I'm guided otherwise, every month I will be doing a free reading, uh, kind of like contest polling or whatever, where you'll get a free pre-recorded reading. And in order to, uh, enter this or do this, you... Put a comment in any of the tarot videos below pertaining to that month. And after the month is over, I will randomly pull from one of the comments and you will get a free reading. I'll reach out to you. It has to be something significant. I mean, not huge, but it can't just be like a period or like, you know, it has to be like a sentence or something, um, something thoughtful, not just dude. So um, if you want it for like, say... Capricorn. I did not do a February video for you guys. So if you want to be in the March running, comment on this video. But if you, I've not pulled for February yet because February is not over, go back to any of my other February tarot videos, February 2019 for any sign, whatever, um, and put a comment. And that's how you get in the running for the ones being pulled for February. If not, you're not worried about it and you're like, I'll just start with this month, then put a comment. Um, so basically you get the gist, okay? So put a comment in the video for any of the tarot videos for 2019 of that month. And after that month is over, whatever that video is said, I will pull off that. And um, and it has to be within that month too, obviously. I mean, if you go back like and comment on it in March on a February video, it, it doesn't count for that. Um, but... So there's that. Might as well go in for a free reading. But it's my way I was guided to as a thank to my subscribers and to help out people who, you know, have like, you know, are having hard times or whatever. So free reading, comment, you know, it's a chance to get one. Is there something else? I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to say. Anyways, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. I put out different types of videos. All the information you need is in the description box below. If you need anything else, you can always comment or email me. Okay? 
If I think of anything else, I'll let you know. So Capricorn, um, your energy is really about um, very much upgrading, ascending, moving out of one way into another. And I'm going to just get started. I'm not going to go too much into this because I don't feel really guided to do that. Um, where you're sitting, and I'm sorry if I say um a lot, it is what it is. So where you're sitting in your central position is the two of swords. And I really get with this, not just needing to kind of make a decision, but um, maybe not even seeing something or not wanting to see something or you're just trying to figure something out. But I don't think you're seeing something because even what's crossing you is judgment reversed. So you're not seeing something. Maybe you're go, trying to go within with your intuition to figure it out. Um, but there's some type of truth or judgment that you need to make that you're not wanting to make. And or some call that you're not hearing that is a better way for you to go forward. Almost like you hearing the call or seeing the light or rising up to a better purpose. Maybe even a more alignment with your purpose. Or whatever it is you're supposed to do. That's, you know, better for you. And you're really having a hard time making this decision. Part of you probably doesn't even want to make this decision. But you can feel it nonetheless. And you're trying to figure it out exactly um, what way to kind of go about doing it or handling this situation. It's... It's pressing on you more and more. You're not always going to be able to sit here with this reverse. Eventually, you're going to see this. You're either going to have to or you're, you're going to be forced to or somehow you're going to. Hopefully, you're go, trying to go within to figure it out. Um, but I think for a lot of you, you don't quite yet. What's in your foundation is the Ace of Wands. So... New beginning, new passionate beginning, new creative passionate beginning. Sexual energy, passion, and creative energy is the same energy. So hopefully you're utilizing this in a productive way for yourself because you have all over your reading about um, um, creative energies coming forth. In your recent past, you have the King of Pentacles and you have the Strength card. So, I mean, you might have actually been, I mean, you could have been around a Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Leo, but that doesn't matter. Like, you could have actually been sitting pretty good um, and having... A lot of what you wanted, a lot of your abundance, a lot of the stuff you brought, you know, you you built up around you. You're like, okay, I, I built it up good. Um, pretty good. I'm sitting pretty good. And what I've built up um, and, and, and kind of what's going in, what's going out. Sort of, I got this built vibe. Like something was built. Uh, it doesn't even have to be a building. You know, it could be like life or work or your goals or what success looks like or whatever. But something in you still isn't or wasn't happy. Like you're still, there's this almost itch that needs to be scratched inside of you. That you've been really trying to like calm down. Like you're really looking at it and you're like, you know, well, I have ideally the life that I want or it looks image wise pretty good. Um, money might be okay. You know, just from the outside, I get it looks good. Even, almost even like your goals have been checked off. But still wondering, why do I feel this way then? You know, why do I feel not complete? Why do I feel like there's still a box that's not checked off, even though I have? Wow, this has really been bothering you guys, because I can really... It's very gnawing um, of a feeling. 
And you've really been trying to calm it, you know, and just keep maintaining what you have. You're like, I've built this. I want to keep this, you know. Uh, it's really important for everybody, but especially earth signs. It's like they really don't want to let go of the stuff they've built up. You know, due to investment and everything. But something in you has been calling for more. Whether this is a not good thing and sort of a trigger or an addiction. Or whether, and, and based on the other part of the reading, I'm going to go with, it actually could be both actually. Because I was going to say I, I would go with something in your inner soul wanting to come out. But a lot of times when people have something in their inner soul wanting to come out and they ignore it, it actually then does turn to um, addictive or, you know, not good for you type behavior patterns, behavioral patterns. So it actually could be both. It's probably actually probable for both, even if it's anywhere from drugs or alcohol to overeating, overspending, whatever. So you might be taking this in your crowning position as, you know, a new beginning of where can I venture into something new, money-wise, business-wise, work-wise? What's going to be um, lucrative? Like, you're getting this feeling like, yeah, I want to expand, but I want it to still be in the way and realm that I have. I don't want to completely lose that that I've built. So I'll just chase in the way I have, the way I always have, you know, I'll just keep, keep trying to get that money, keep trying to build, keep trying to like do something like what I've been doing, just more. I'll just keep doing it kind of vibe. Here's the thing though. I usually take your crowning position a lot of times too, as what's conscious thoughts and what's in your foundation as subconscious thoughts. So in your conscious thoughts, you're thinking, money or something lucrative that could build in the same way that you already have, like with this King of Pentacles here. However, in your subconscious thoughts, you've got creativity and passion going on here. Maybe sexual, but I'm getting, you know, again, it's the same energy, but more creative and passionate. So you're close you could feel the new beginning either way, but you're kind of being asked to step outside of your normal box that you've been doing it and doing it in a way this time that really means something to you. And I'm not saying none of this meant anything to you, but that thing that just sparks your soul within type thing. I mean, it's just, it lights you up. It's like, yes, this is why I'm here type thing. Like that passion, that creativity, you coming forth. Not just the 3D kind of realm, you know, money's good, house is good, relationship's good, maybe kids, animals, boop, 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 like whatever. But deeper than that. More than that. Like that thing that is, it's you expressed type vibe. This is what's itching at you and wanting to come out. In your likely future, you have the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Sun card. You have really good future cards, future and outcome cards. Um, I really take this Knight of Wands. Somebody could be rushing into you and offering you a, a new offer of love and, um, you know, healing and all of that. Um, so, you know, again, take this as love as needed, flip flop it as needed. I'm going to read it as you, though, because that's what it's mostly coming up to me as. I don't really get that a lot of Capricorns are really focused a lot on love right now. 
you might be so applied as necessary, but I don't. I think that this Knight of Swords is actually more you and you actually taking action on this. Because you have the Knight of Wands and like he's sitting here with the rod. And this Ace of Cups is like a new beginning. It could be a new love or just something that you really love. Something that you're really passionate about. And it's not only really healing with this star card, but it's really like on your path. Like really what you're supposed to be doing. It's also asking you to have faith and hope during that. Especially since because it's going to be asking you somewhat to go outside of your normal way, it's going to be a little bit trying for you. Um, there may, it may even ask you to do things that you don't normally want to do, uh, are kind of scared to do, or may even destabilize this a little bit. Because even though, yeah, this is good, this is whatever, to some degree, not fully, but to some degree, it's a little bit of a false foundation because this was built on security around you. And not really what's going on within you. So in order to bring this up within you, some of this is going to have to crumble because it may not align with what's really going on inside of you. Like the true genuine you that's coming up. So be okay with and know that that's okay. It's going to be part of this. Um, it's going to just be part of the transformation. It's not that you're losing any of your work. It's not that you're back rating. Back rating is not a word like... Um, you know, going down, not doing as good now, you're losing a lot of your efforts, you're not as good as you used to be. No, you're in transition. So just don't let it get to you too much. It is going to be part of the transition. And it's known. You have the energies at the bottom of the deck, you have the five of pentacles, the five of cups. So it might affect you a little bit money-wise. It might affect you a little bit emotionally or a little bit of regret or like, oh, that sucks. I didn't quite want to let go of that. But I might need to... You know, if it doesn't stay around while I'm shifting and upgrading, then it wasn't meant to stay type thing. Um, don't try to just hold on to things out of fear. Uh, just, you know, really go within. Allow it to do healing, strategizing. You, you're going to see certain things. You're going to see what needs to stay. You're going to see what needs to go. And what's working for you, what's not working for you. And, um, and then here, here's your tower card after this, but here's you on your new beginning where you picked up this stick and headed to the Knight of wands and, you know, things start to fall apart. Like I was saying, but it is moving you to smoother territory mentally. And for this new beginning, you've been looking for to kind of like reinvest and kind of itch this scratch a little bit. Is that right? Scratch this itch, itch this scratch. Scratch the itch. Um, so just be aware of that. But it is good. Like you're going after something that is going to be more personally fulfilling for you. It's going to be very healing. It's going to be very like you feel in alignment. That you're on track. That you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. How you see yourself is the three of pentacles. So, um, you know, you're, you're trying to build, you're trying to work with others. You're, you're trying to figure it out. I feel like you really are trying to figure it out because you can really feel it. Um, maybe you're even looking at other options or other things around you that, to see what is a viable source for you to expand into. Maybe even other modalities, other things people are trying, whatever. And on one hand, I get the vibe, that's good. Do that. It sparks ideas and creativity. But for the most part, this is going to come from within you or with your own signature thing on it. So I guess if you need it to spark something, then yeah, but don't go completely off of that or just like copy someone else. And I don't mean copy like you're taking out their work. I mean like 
one thing that earth signs are really good at and i find is one of their best ways of creating uh especially taurus maybe even a little bit of capricorn but earth signs are really anybody anybody i guess is they look for little ideas and if it even has the littlest thing that gives them permission to do it or the that it can even somewhat be in existence they take that little thing and then they build onto it like they build an empire off of that creative still but it's almost like they they need something even the littlest thing to give them permission to do it or permission to make its existence physically into this world and so if you need it for that reason then fine great but make sure you're also going within and trusting your own stuff on what you want what lights you up what makes your soul sing what what are your gifts what do you what are you doing what are you happy when you're doing what is not so happy anymore when you're doing it I think right now, though, you see yourself as you're, you're kind of dipping your toe into little things and you're looking to see what other people are doing and you're working with other people to see where are the energies expanding to. So, like I said, mix that with what else is going on inside of you and what keeps coming to your intuition for you to do. Don't just go completely on that path. I think most of the time Capricorns are pretty good with that. Um, but it, it came up, so I'm saying it. What's in your environment? Um, you have the Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So could be, you know, your creative idea that you're trying to turn into something lucrative and that you could build into something create a legacy out of also get that maybe some of you have kids in a family in your environment um but i i really just get a lot of something that you've really put a lot into um, investment wise and building a lot of times this is going to be family it could even be work emotion though wise you know it is kind of low it's the page of cups so um, it could be something creative that you have built up business wise or whatever uh, it could be family wise and you have kids or even family wise but there's maybe not even like a high amount of love or emotions like it's there but it's more practical than highly emotional for whatever reason I mean that could go so many ways so how your environment sees you is you have the eight of pentacles so you're really seen as you're just like working away like you're you're doing it you're working you're trying to figure it out you're trying to grow you're trying to do your thing um maybe you're trying to expand but to some degree you're still trying to just do what you've been doing to some degree however that means to you and you're still getting that push to go outside of that but either way that you're you know you're working they which makes sense you know it's a Capricorn but they see you as working you've really got your head into creating and building something you're focused. What's in your hopes and fears is you have the Queen of Cups. So, I mean, some of you could fear 
the emotional part of this, but I think you're just really hoping to look for something that is really important enough to really like put all of your energy and your focus and I mean this is a big cup you know this is a big difference than this page of cups with this little old cup like she's got a big cup and she's really focused on it like very much so so on one hand you're like yes I'm so excited by that because I want something that really means a lot to me and that I can really focus on and it's really in line with me and in tune with me and I can build it and grow it and just it's you know just greatness in all ways but at the same time it is going to take a little bit of time away from this possibly that you have in your environment you know kind of the way up exactly like you have in your center card with the two of swords but in a way it's like you almost have to because Um, something's just not right. You don't want to spend the rest of your life doing this and calming that part of you. Like, it's okay. We're okay. Look what we've built. You should be happy. You know, just, just calm down. You should be happy. It's okay. You've, you've built up great. You did great. Just calm down. Why are you upset? Like, you don't want to be that way anymore. You can't go the whole rest of your life like that. You need to find that alignment. You need to feel, feed that which feeds your inner soul. So you want this. But at the same time, you know that there's a chance that certain things might fall away. Like I was saying before. Because the level of upgrade that this would take and the frequency change... Um, means that not everything is going to align with it. Not everything is going to give you the time that you need. Not everything is going to allow you to have the focus that you need. Not everything may even be aligned with it or understand it or agree with it. I mean, that's just a fact. So, on one hand, this excites you. But on the other hand, you know that parts of your environment and your reality... And the things that you've built up and hold near and dear to you, um, some of it, if not all, but at least some of it might actually fall away. But in your likely future, you have the Emperor, you have the Four of Wands, and you have the Three of Cups. So you have from this if you actually go through with and do this energy you have that you have built something with this emperor energy you have a new level of an upgrade i'd rather be the emperor than the ace or the the king of pentacles because in my opinion the emperor is the king of pentacles but it's all of the kings so you have completely upgraded, found a new level of stability and discipline, an empire, a new level of community and togetherness and happiness and structure and foundation that is also marked by good times and like-minded individuals. So it's like whatever you possibly lose or shift or let go of, it is, it's, it's replaced. I mean, it's still a little bittersweet. That doesn't mean it's not, you know, still not sad or whatever, but what is not in vibration goes and what is in vibration will come. You will literally realign. It is going to be a little trying and it is going to test you a little bit. Um, but there's, it's just a new direction. Like 
the the card on the bottom of this deck is new direction. Life may seem like a whirlwind at the moment, yet there is a divine order to the present circumstance. What may appear as chaos is often angelic forces of the universe at work. After the storm clears, you will be steered in a new direction, a time of renewed health, joy, and abundance. And you'll go through like healing and perspective changes and upgrade, literally. And I think a finding of you, like the cards here that column is like reconciliation, pineapple. I don't get so much the reconciliation is like, it might be with um, a person or it might cause a falling apart issue and then a coming back together. Um, but for the most part, and, and this could be mirrored externally, but we don't really have to go there unless it comes back up later or something. But I mostly get this is like a reconciliation um, with yourself, with that part of you but when this is going on like you have trouble accusations frying pan an arrogant boastful person you should not cross new home new attitude birth or conception of a child or enterprise fear or worries tense situation A sincere wish will be granted. Get back to the basics. Obstacles to overcome. Money will be coming to you. Like, it's literally like a shift. It's kind of going to fall apart, adjust, come back together, and then ab ab abundance and blessings come back again. But I just, I get this vibe for at least some of you that somebody around you as you're doing this is not going to like it. And they may even try to hold you back. Hold you back, sabotage you, provide a heavy energy, whether they're trying to or not. You know, because there's, there's almost like cards here, not almost, there are cards here that are warning you during this transition as you're, as you're changing and transitioning to not let energy or people or certain things affect you. Like you have feminine, lady goddess. I mean, this is very much about coming into your feminine energy, but your creative energy. And then you have protection underneath that. So this is about saying you want energetically to also practice, you know, protective things for you, but also saying, watch your environment, watch the people in your environment, watch the food you're putting in you. Like, Really take care of yourself during this time in this transition. Because anytime you're really getting to know yourself for transitioning, you want to absolutely be taking the best care of yourself as possible and be having the highest vibration and kind of best, cleanest energies as you can, if not just being in your own energies. Because there is a type of death and rebirth that you are going through. But it is saying you're going to need protection. And... Whether somebody is intentionally or unintentionally doing this, um, because I had this, when I was pulling these cards, actually, too, I just remembered, I had this feeling that, um, it was like, like it came in me real quick, um, and it was pretty strong, and, and I knew, you know, as soon as I pulled the cards, what it was for was how quickly energies can go in you and influence you. So please absolutely make sure that you're setting up protection during this time, whether it's energetic boundaries, not letting people affect you. Like if they're doing stuff, just don't pay attention to it and keep doing what you're doing. If you can't just do that, then they may actually have to go. So don't let them stop you because I just get this vibe. They're not going to like it. Um, and pineapples too is like if you pull the top off a pineapple if you know most of the stuff is intact there it can literally regrow and, and re-sprout and regrow a whole new pineapple so that's why I get by reconciliation too like something may come back to you but I get it's mostly you and I think through this whole process of things changing being taken away coming and all of that it brings you more to an authentic you is really kind of what I'm getting from it. Not kind of, but that's what I'm getting from it. 
Um, here's just moving really fast. So. You know, some of your energy cards that I looked at for you, you have, I'm trying to save a little on time, but you have three of them are deceit, walking away, and the door to value. So I really get that you're seeing something different about your situation and you kind of walking out of it into something that is more valuable for you, but also something that you at one time walking away from something that you did value at one time. But there's something else that you want. Your next cards are envy and you have patience, like divine timing and victory. So there's something else you see where your energy needs to go or something else that you want that you've either been ha pa have, having patience for, it's now time um, or it's just telling you to be patient through all this that's happening. There is divine timing and you are being assisted through this. It is bringing you a level of victory and good things, but also like I always see with this card, kind of an intuition or just being in alignment with your higher self type thing. So a, a lot of people, whether it's somebody else or you really is going to be walking away from something. Um, they or you are just not going to be in alignment with what was anymore. Um, you have as some of your, also here's another thing about creativity on the bottom of your deck, second, second uh, chakra. Archangel Ariel, Ariel, I don't know, but your your sacral chakra, sexuality, creativity, of what I've been talking about. Um, but you have two other oracles, Mermaid with Butterflies, and then Storm Chaser. So I will read those here real quick. Rise above your circumstances. It's time to rise above your current circumstances. You have been content with lesser and corrupted things for too long. Look inside your most inner self and realize that you are not happy with aspects of your situation. Deep down, you realize that you are better than your circumstances. Perhaps your circle of friends is pulling you down or in a bad direction. Perhaps your work is beneath your skills, abilities, and aspirations, but you are having trouble breaking free. If you could be your home life, it could be your home life, your significant other, your neighborhood, or domicile itself. That is not up, that is not up to your standards. However, just like the butterfly mermaid, you have seen a path to peace and purity. Shake off the corrupt acquaint acquaintances and the duties that are beneath you. Aspire for more spiritually, emotionally, and intellectually. Take inspiration from the noble butterfly. Take wing and rise above. And then you have storm chaser, which says expect creative energy. Energy is in the air. You will soon be stuck, struck with profound creative power. Tap into this energy and find the inspiration to create through art, writing, or another form of expression. Be warned, this force will build up and it will be released. It is best to select a proper creative outlet so it does not turn into a destructive force. This creative energy can produce amazing results and tap into artistic reserves you never knew you had if you open yourself up to the power and the receptive and are receptive at the right time. Patience, divine timing. Now is the time to complete the, that project that you have been wanting to finish, but you have been tr have trouble wrapping up. It is also the ideal time to start something new, your signature piece, your work of a lifetime. If you do not do it soon, you may miss an exceptional opportunity. Who knows when it will come again? Um, you also have as your animal spirit cards. Well, I'll go here first, actually. It says, um, share your thoughts and hear the ancient ones. I more go with hear the ancient ones. That's stronger to me. But um, this is like really like they're guiding you and feeding you thoughts. It's almost like you're this tree. And they're guiding you with this energy and these thoughts and these downloads to help you. Like you're being assisted to help you grow. 
and you have maintain your childlike spirits. Also culmination of vision underneath that potential gateway, ideal course of action. Amplify your positive emotions, bountiful harvest. So, I mean, that's another thing too. As things possibly start to get like negative or heavier due to this transition, just keep fo focusing on the positive. Just keep focusing on that which you're doing and that where you're trying to go. Don't focus on what's trying to be removed. If you focus on where you're trying to be removed, it's going to tear you up and split you in different directions. Just keep focusing on what you're trying to focus on and what you're trying to build. I mean, yes, reflection is needed and all of that. Be considerate, but don't let it sabotage you or stop you or make you question it. You need to maintain light energy in your childlike spirit because this is really where your creative energy is going to come from. You're more in tune and aligned with yourself when you're in your childlike time and, and, and even at that age. So have fun. Play. Don't be serious. Let go of that serious work or have to get things done. I mean, still be disciplined and stuff, but tap into this inner child playful side. Just play. Have playtime and see what you come up with. Do things. It doesn't matter how crazy you look or what you do. Just play. And tap into that thing that's trying to come out within you that wants to be expressed. Your animal spirit cards is you have hawk. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have vulture. So hawk, hawk is about watchful, all-seeing messenger of divinity. The sharp eyes of the hawk watch our every move. This keen-eyed bird has the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture when this card appears. Fate has its eyes on you and the winds are shifting. It is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. The message should not be taken lightly, though it may seem small or insignificant, it will eventually redirect your course. When in balance, you see clearly and are intuitive. When out of balance, sees too much suspicious. To bring into balance perspective shift. I think what's going to help with this pers perspective shift is the vulture. And this is very much also a shadow work, inner child type energy I get also. Um, but vulture stands for guardian and purifier essential for rebalance. The vulture is perhaps the most misunderstood creature of all. This intriguing bird balances our ecosystem and prevents the spread of disease. It does the dirty work that no one else wants to do and cleans up our messes. The vulture appears when there's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance. Excuse me. Remember, the vulture is greatly undervalued. What you thought was a mistake or tragedy is a blessing in disguise. When in balance, clarifies, reveals wisdom. When out of balance, dramatic, aggressive. To bring into balance, clean your space, sage. So... I very much get, you know, that energy of, like, things are going to be cleared from your space. Like, literally during this transition, some things might literally go, and it's going to be different for everybody. If you need help with this, to see more into it, blocks, to see if this energy aligns with you, what to do, all of that, please hit me up for a personal reading. Um, but, because it's going to be different for everybody. This is a general reading. So, but... I just really get things are going to be removed from your life. Um, but it's making room for things that are now aligned with you to come in. So, and you might need, really need to be doing some inner work with this too. Like inner child, inner shadow work. Um, you have as kind of like your soul cards... The Sojourner, I guess how you say it, I don't know. So the Mentor of Mirrors, so it's actually the King of Cups, but that doesn't really matter, is a supremely spiritual person who gathers no moss. He he's infrequently found in the same place for very long, preferring instead to roam around and spend quality time with his thoughts and inspirations. Life is... Live life one day at a time is his motto. He could be called an empath and spiritual medicant. His, fami his familiar, the Sojourner's noble steed, helps him from feeling constricted or tied down. When the troop makes camp, the Sojourner usually takes leaves for a short while to visit nearby farmhouses. If he's warmly welcomed, and he usually is, he prays peace upon the household 
and breaks bread with them. They share information with him about places the troop should go and people they should meet. Uh, take The troop takes his time. Ugh, sorry. When he appears, he's already read your heart and understands you, so sit with him for a while. Empaths are mentors and problem solvers. He may recommend you set aside some me time to roam nature with your own thoughts and inspirations. So really, like, going within, also with like-minded people, kind of like what you're doing. And then you have the Two of Mirrors, which is the Two of Cups. Let's see how the mirrors are on the next, kind of reflecting each other. Be sure to take swan energy into consideration. As an animal spirit, a swan awakens the power of self and heightens intuition and awareness, especially in changing times. The two of mirrors symbolizes the most reliable, centering energy available to us, the energy of unconditional love. It impacts the heart chakra immediately and profoundly, just as the unexpected swan did the day. Oh, it talks about a story of the author. Um, the two mirrors symbolizes the bond of sacred balance with lifelong romantic partnerships, as well as union of yin and yang opposites. The two mirrors around the, the two mirrors around the swan's neck reflect the masculine and feminine aspects of the self onto its partner. It was reflections like those that attracted romantic love in the first place. In the reading, the two of mirrors reminds you that the characteristics of a perfect partnership are not always likely to be present in a relationship. In difficult times, compromises often are made to preserve relationship equilibrium. The two mirrors calls to remind all the reasons why the heart is surrendered unconditionally to the safekeeping of another. It asks us to keep our internal yin-yang energies in harmonious balance. This enhances your energy signature. For women, this might mean learning to act more assertively with increased focus. And for men, this might mean learning to be introspective and develop intuition by calling on Swan's feminine energy. It reminds us the true ability to love others unconditionally requires loving ourselves unconditionally. It requires working through guilt, regret, and fear and consciously choosing love. According to the sages, love is an act of will, not an emotion. So, you know, very much too about being true to you. And being true to you brings about that world of balance and others being true to you and themselves as well. So if you're in a relationship that's not like that, it might fall apart or call, you know, you or them to stand up or whatever. But just ride this out as needed. You also have the Ten of Spirals and at the bottom of the deck. I'm not going to read this, but this is very much, again, going with this Vulture card about the inner child and shadow work and... I feel like there's a lot of burdens and resentments and fears and a lot of things that you're carrying around that's weighing you down for you to release. You know, you're at a crossroads in your life where it's just not benefiting you to carry them anymore. It's time to release them and look at them. Which ones need to stay and which ones need to go? And these could be hurts, resentments, fears, beliefs. Um, who you are, who you see yourself as, your life, what you've built up, your perspective, whatever. It could be anything in your life and just really reevaluating all of it and seeing what should stay and what should go, what's serving you and what's not serving you on all types of levels. Um, as your shaman cards, kind of guiding cards, you have the Seven of Swords, which... You know, they don't really mean the same in this deck. You have the Star card. Um, the Ten of Swords. And then you have the Page of Pentacles. Sorry, the Knight of Pentacles and the Magician. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have the Hangman and the Five of Wands. So... Again, there's some conflict that might be leading you to a different perspective here. You definitely got some perspective changes that are happening. But it's asking you to, when these shifts are happening and they're kind of fluffing up this heavy energy, just stay light and rise above it and keep your eye on your goal. Reflect as you need to. Do your inner work as you need to. But don't let the heavy energies or the controls of other people stop you. Stay on your focus. Stay high. Stay rise above it and stay focused and just kind of keep going. 
above all that's going, like this guy's ass projecting, I don't know how much you could see it. And it will take you and lead you to stay on your true course. That one of your higher self, that of your path and going where you're supposed to be going. But just remember, this isn't just beautiful. It's painfully beautiful and crazy beautiful sometimes. But you might actually lose some parts of yourself or things in your environment during this time. Like this Ten of Swords, like he's falling down these stairs. And as you can see, like he's falling, here's his phoenix, phoenix wings that are growing. That are going to keep him afloat, but also remember who he is. So as he's falling, his phoenix wings are starting to grow. Like, it's, it's through the fall that allows you to rise like the phoenix. You know, basically. And that's kind of what's happening to you. And, and now you'll be able to see things more correctly. Your priorities, your perspective, your focus, where you want to go. You're more aligned. And because of that, like the Knight of Pentacles is normally like, it's the slowest knight in the deck, but it's normally very slow. This one's fast. Like this bull is just running. So, you know, they're coming in. They're charging in. Like they've got to focus. Maybe even sometimes can be a little bit too, like, get out of my way about it. So remember to be compassionate and understanding and considerate during this time. But either way, the shakeups from this process really puts you exactly where you're wanting to go. And you are like, you will be on it. And you're going you're gonna to be manifesting with this magician energy. So... If you're feeling this energy, just know that you're right and you're you're right on path. Um, there are going to be some shakeups during it because of it, but it's exactly what's supposed to be happening right now. And just keep trying to stay in tune with what you're doing, what you want, what's in front of you, where are you going. Have love and compassion and understanding for what feels like it needs to leave your life. Um, but stay on course, do that work, the inner child shadow work, but remember to play and have the heart and the faith and the spirit of a child because this is where it's getting you to go. You don't need to stay serious. You don't need to stay bogged down in pain and resentment. Let it go and go back to your childlike self and ascend and go. It's kind of counter you know, intuitive almost where you feel like going back to a child is losing your place that you put in this world. And it's not, it's actually holding you down. So let all that go. You know, you've already learned what you need to learn, you know, on that stuff. You, you don't have to hold, carry the baggage in order to remember the lessons. You know what I mean? So like, let it go and bring that spirit back because bringing back that spirit is going to align you right where you need to go. You're going to feel better and your creativity is just going to fly. So, um, I'm excited for you guys. Uh, good luck with this. If you need help with it, let me know, or even your perspective or blocks or how to work through this, or if this energy is for you at the very least, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell below. Don't forget about the free reading contest. So chance for free pre-recorded reading. Um, and thank you again for those of you who have donated or feel you want to donate or if you're interested, information in the description box below along with the services and everything like that. Um, but I'm super excited for you guys. Um, just don't let it weigh you down too much. You've got really great things coming for you, okay? But I'm excited. I'm not going to keep dragging this out for you guys. I don't feel like I should. Some energies I feel like want to go deeper and some energies I don't. Capricorns usually, um, they usually don't for the most part. They usually want it, you know? So I love you guys. I'm excited. Um, thank you for everything. Thank you for walking this journey with me and allowing me to walk this with you and just keep going. But I love you guys. Bye. See you soon.